bulk of it, uh, Taylor, looks like it's in Pickens County. Yeah, and I mean, Asia, the question we're all wondering right now is, are there people entrapped there in Pickens County? Have you gotten any information about people trapped uh, due to fallen trees? Asia? Well, guys, we actually just got an update from the chief right now, and you can see we moved a little closer to where the homes uh, are, have been impacted. You can see the family of this particular home here is outside, and right now we actually have the uh, the chief of uh, Pickens County Emergency Management standing by right now just to talk to us a little bit about uh, what's going on here on Lost Valley Road. Chief, what? how many homes have been impacted here? From what we can gather right now, we've probably got five or six that we know have, have damage. Uh, most of them are, are, are pretty major, which means the house Houses are not going to be able to be uh, lived in right now. Uh, most of the folks have family in the area, so they've been able to move there and at least have, find shelter overnight. But we know the Red Cross will be helping uh, at, at least one fam family right now for, for shelter overnight. How many people have been displaced? Uh, just, just guessing, we know of at least five families, uh, probably a, a dozen people that we know of right now. The, the damage seems to be concentrated right here in the Lost Valley and Crystal Lane area. Uh, so hopefully, um, this is going to be a, a we, we can actually get these folks some help pretty quickly. And, and the main the main thing right now is make sure we've got somewhere for them to stay, stay the night. Can you kind of put into perspective for people who, who are watching right now, uh, what kind of damage are, are we seeing out here? It's kind of dark for the, viewer, the viewers at home. What damage is down here? From what we can gather now, uh, a lot of it's trees down. We've got trees down on homes. As, as again, as you, as you saw when you first got here, we've got houses that are, are missing roofs. Um, power lines down, power lines uh, wound up in the trees, which is going to be problematic for us to be able to clear the roadway so that we can do a full damage assessment. But again, as I said, uh, we know we at least got a half a dozen homes that have sustained some, some type of damage. And I know you talked about most of the damage is concentrated right here. What about the rest of Pickens County tonight? Well, we started getting calls around 9 o'clock, and they were all concentrated in this general area. We have had crews out working in the six-mile area and the adjacent areas, and the further we got out from here, uh, the damage got uh, much less. So we think that it, it is concentrated right here, um, and, and hopefully um, this, this will be it for the night. I know several people have tried to come down this road. Are you telling people to avoid this area? How long will it be like this? So how, how long would the safety un, uh, uh, this area be unsafe for the public? I, we would like the public stay out here for the re stay away from here for the rest of the night. We'll be here doing damage assessment until we can assure that we've accounted for everyone. We're doing our secondary sweep right now to make sure we didn't miss any homes that could have had damage and maybe had people trapped. But we'll be here into the night to, to uh, see if we can start clearing the roadway so then we can get in and do a, a better damage assessment. Um, folks from the Red Cross will be back here at first light uh, to help the folks that, that did have family to stay with tonight, get them some help get, getting back on their feet. So again, we would ask folks to stay away from this area if at all possible um, because we're going to be working to try to get our way in and, and do some damage assessment. Well, thanks, Chief. We'll, we'll send it back to you guys from here in Pickens County. She mentioned that it's Asia Wilson in Pickens County, really the only area we're hearing reported damage, uh, um, reports of damage in uh, from the upstate. And for the last 90 to 100 minutes or so, you've been watching our coverage of tornado warnings in this area. Take a breath. Yeah. The warnings have expired in this viewing area, and it looks like that system is starting to lose some strength.